Hello, welcome to a new video. So basically in this video, I'm going to show you my new phone. I got it a while back. Um, yeah, basically this video is not to like brag about it if I'm being extremely honest, because my last phone was an iPhone X and I got it in 2018. Yeah, it's been like five years almost since I like got it. So I needed an upgrade like regardless but also sadly the phone like kind of fell yeah my front facing camera was not working at all it was definitely inconvenient because i film all of my videos on my phone um right now i'm filming with my dad's phone because I need to show you guys about it but yeah face id wasn't working and stuff like that so just I needed a new phone. I just thought, why not go with the latest one? This is the iPhone 14 Pro. I didn't even think about iPhone 14 Pro Max because first of all, my hands are like so little. So it literally, it's like too big. This phone in itself is like too big for my hands. Imagine like a Pro, like, I just don't see a point in it. I have filmed the unboxing of this phone, by the way, like when I had just gotten it. So yeah, I hope you like it. So this is like what my lock screen looks like. This key is dynamic. The name of this cat is Rat, which is short for Rathu. But basically when you open the phone, this is what you look at. I have a Spotify widget, so if I like click on that, then you just open Spotify. And then on this first page, I have Instagram, Be Real, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Clue, Safari, Reddit, and Pinterest. I've got this app called Clue. Basically, it's to like track my periods, so, and I think it's a really good app, so if like any girls are watching this video, then get it. Highly recommend it. I've been using it since years, like ever since I got my period for the first time. Um, and then I have Snapchat, which I never use. Good morning, okay? Why am I like this? Oh my god! No way! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's so cool. Next is Pinterest. Many people want to know like what my Pinterest is. All like my albums are like private, so I don't know if that's gonna benefit you. I've got some questionable things on here, so I don't really know if I'm ever gonna make it public anytime soon. Then I have Reddit because I like never use this app, but I like that I have it, I guess. 
Then on this next page, I've got notes, app, photos, Gmail, Spotify, Cam Scanner, YouTube, YouTube Studio, Flight Radar, Flight Radar 24. It's like a really cool app. You can basically look at all the flights which are like flying right now. This quote is like super cringe, but it's the truth, so. Then on this like next page, I've just got this like widget which like keeps changing photos. Then I've got this like Steve game. Did I just? Anyways, who gives? This is basically how my phone looks. Now it's like time to show what all my phone has. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time on like the boring apps a lot. I'm just gonna like skip through them and just show you like the interesting ones. Like for example, Google Maps, like everyone knows it. So I'm not gonna talk about it. In the shopping section, I've got like Urbanic and I've got Minta. Um, and then I have Wattpad, like don't be alarmed. I don't read anything. I like mainly just have it for like videos because I don't know, I have this like super cool idea where I like read crappy Wattpad horror stories at like 3 a.m. So if like anyone knows any horror stories on Wattpad, not good ones, I want shitty ones then comment down below and it can like really help me out and then comes my most used folder ever it's basically games i have so many games and i play all of them a lot i am 18 years old don't look at me like that episode and everyone who's like asking for an episode video how about i play a harder based episode story and read some horror Wattpad stories on like the same day. Would y'all be okay with that? Because I think that's a really interesting video. I just don't think many people are gonna like it, so... I fell for all those goddamn ads and now I have Gardenscapes and it's actually a very addicting game. So I have no idea. I, I like barely have started, like I just did this much and there's like so much more left to do. But yeah, I'm pretty sure one day I'll get there. Then I have this app called I Want Pizza, um, where you make pizzas and like tons of other sh These are like the kind of games which you think are gonna give you viruses, but they don't. And they're the most fun, the most amazing games ever, not gonna lie. Actually level 125 is like not that much. These are like some rookie numbers. See, stack ball is like where it gets like borderline scary. Like I'm on level 913. And it's not even like one of those games where it gets like tougher and tougher as like the levels progress. It's like playing the same- Shut up! I got Gardenscapes, why are you showing me that? It's like playing the same level of difficulty for like 900 times and the fact that I've done it is like even more concerning and like embarrassing but um subway surfers is like the only thing I flex about because I love my high score look at that I hate you guys after like I said this on Instagram and everyone in the comments was like I have more I have more than you who asked shut up I don't want to know that don't tell me that you're better than me at something which I think I'm the best at I really want to reach 5 million though so watch out kids I'm coming for y'all. Wind Rider is like my the most favorite app on this entire phone. I'm on level like okay 822. Oh my god. Well anyways um I whatever that's the game. Next in entertainment I've got this like old app where I used to like pirate like music and it has and it still has like all my old playlists like all the bangers from like when life was actually good but the issue is they like removed it from the app store does anyone know if there's like a way of how i can like get it back i don't think there is but if you know how to then let me know i just want to know the names of the songs that i used to have on there that's it fake light 365 is basically like you can put a countdown to like one of the events in your life and i had put this when I was going to go to Paris for like the last time before I was going to move to India and it's been 1727 days since I've been there In like creativity, I've got blur photo, it's just basically where you can Okay, so yeah, you just blur things out Um, photo retouch, so wait, if I like take a picture of this And say I don't want the mole on my finger, like just say that I want to get like rid of it, then I can just like press that and say go. 
and there you go and then it just goes away then i've got pixar that's like how i make my um thumbnails and fonto is also how i make my thumbnails so if i like restore this is how i add text to my thumbnails then video star i don't even use video star it's just i've got like many memories i used to have a fan account ariana grande fan account i used to make these super elaborate fan edits and i still love fan edits okay and that's how i realized that i love editing and eventually started like youtube channel but anyways point is um i was 10 so don't judge me for it and um second of all i still love fan edits i still look at like fan edits of like stuff that i am obsessed with at the moment no shame in the game that's why i love these like two three people who like have ever made like edits of me that was insane like thank you so much i love you so much and yeah i guess i guess that's it that's it for what's on my phone challenge is that a challenge why do i say everything is a challenge it's not a challenge but anyways <laughs>